Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. There seems to be a lot of fake photos floating around on the internet today. We've all seen them. A lot of the magazines carry them, uh, whether it's actually just a photoshopped model so that she looks fake. She doesn't, uh, you know, she's been airbrushed to the point of almost non-recognition or those viral photos that go around of things that uh, either look real, but they turn out to be fake or you can tell right away they don't. There's, there's no way it could be real, but they don't look fake. Um, so we've got seven viral photos here, seven photos that went viral. And I want to see if you guys can tell which ones are fake and which ones aren't. First one here is school lunch uh, from a segment of photos of school lunches from around the world. This one here is a school lunch from Italy. What do you guys think? Is this real? Or is this fake? This image here uh, went viral according to uh, Gizmodo. And uh, so what do you guys think? Real or fake? Next up, and you may think right away that this one is fake, but is it? Stranger things have happened. This is a whale floating through, swimming through Venice, Italy. Is it real or fake? What do you think? Next up. Are these the tallest mountains as seen from space? Real or fake? Looks pretty real, doesn't it? But what do you think? This next one is probably something a lot of us wish we did have at the office. But what do you think? Real or fake? 1960s whiskey vending machine in an office. Number five, is this a creepy passageway in an abandoned church? Is it real or fake? Looks like it could be kind of a passageway. Kind of creepy. Number six, Pearl Harbor. Is this a rare color photo of the attack on Pearl Harbor? Is it real? Looks like it could be. Or do you think there wasn't color back then? Hmm. Real or fake? And our last one, number seven. Is this an Alaskan tree frog? Kind of looks pretty authentic. Interesting. Interesting. Eye captivating, captures your eye, makes you go, hmm, but is it real or fake? Okay, so back to number one, our school lunches. Real or fake? What did you guys think? The correct answer is fake. This is actually one of a series of misleading promotional photos from an advertising campaign. Easy enough to think that it was probably real, you know, looks authentic, but it was fake. Now, in this case, the photo itself isn't fake. What it implies is not true. The photo itself was staged, and hence, it's actually a real photo in the sense that that's real food and a real tray. But what it's telling you, the message it's bringing, was fake. It's not part of a school lunch program. Number two was our whale swimming through Venice, Italy. And yes, probably most of you got that this was fake. Although it's very well done. It's actually a composite image from artist Robert Johns. And kudos to Robert because it looks pretty good. But it is fake. It's not real. Number three was the tallest mountains as seen from space. Did you think it was real or did you think it was fake? The correct answer is fake. It's actually a computer-generated image created by Christopher Horman back in 2006. It's a fake. Although I must admit, looking at it, it does look pretty real. Then we come to the office whiskey vending machine it's kind of cool idea a lot of you are probably already in motion to have this implemented in your office right now <laughs> good luck with that but is it real or fake it certainly looks real it looks like 1960s looks vintage looks black and white everything about it looks like it could be real but it too is fake it's actually apparently from a 1960s office vending machine exhibition but Apparently, there's no data to indicate it was ever used in an office. It was just part of the exhibition. One of those, you know, like a concept car. It's a concept vending machine, if you will. So it's fake, too. Now, that said, again, the actual item is probably real. The photo is real. But it's implying something. Or if you look at the question, there was never any office vending machine selling whiskey that we're aware of. So fake as far as what the message is concerned. Number five, the creepy passageway in the abandoned church. Did, what did you guys think? Did you think that was an abandoned church, creepy passageway? Or did you think it was fake? 
Well, it's fake in the sense that it's not an abandoned church. It actually comes from a house called the Black Moon Manor in Indiana. And it was investigated by the TV show Ghost Adventures on the Travel Channel. So, in the sense that it's not a uh, creepy passageway in an abandoned church, it's fake. What about the color photo from Pearl Harbor? Do you think that's real or fake? Well, it's a fake too. It's actually from the movie Pearl Harbor. You know, the one with Ben Affleck? So it's actually a movie still. It's a still from the movie. In that sense, it's real because it's an actual picture from the movie. It's a, it's a frame from the movie. But it's fake in the sense that there was never any color photos depicting the bombing of Pearl Harbor. So this one too is a fake. And then we come to our last one, the Alaskan tree frog. Real or fake? It's a fake too. It's actually, if you look really hard, you can kind of make out that it is a cartoon frog. And then it's uh, it's got the crystals and whatnot frozen on it. But the image is fake. There's no such thing as an Alaskan tree frog. So, what did you guys think? Did you get any of them right? Kind of a trick in the sense that they're all fakes. But they've all gone viral and they all are fake. So it just illustrates how much our society and our media right now is fascinated with or inundated with or there's just lots of it out there fake photos these seven have all gone viral and they're all fake what do you guys think did you get them right did you not is there a viral photo you've been particularly taken in by let me know in the comments below let's have a discussion on fake photos photoshopped photos photos that go viral that are fake let's have a chat about it Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with more videos, more articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography, videography, and technology right here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks a lot, folks.